Okay. On Friday, we probably should have just finished this on Friday. I guess I didn't quite realize how short or how few things we had left to do, but we do need to finish up the other thing that affects uh, density. So guys, you should from Friday remember that when you warm a substance up, what happens to the molecules? They expand. So then what happens to the density? It's less dense, it goes down. So when those molecules expand and they're farther apart, it's less dense. Well, today we're talking about pressure. I think we technically talked about this already on Friday. We just didn't write it down. So when you add pressure, what happens to those molecules? They become denser, they get more tightly packed. Just like if you think of a snowball, if I take a snowball, and I put pressure on it, I'm pushing those particles of snow closer together. So more dense. So when pressure is added, it causes the material to become smaller, it gets compressed, and volume decreases. So we just need to fill in the graph and the uh, relationship there. <laughs> so that should say as pressure goes up, density increases, which we literally just said five seconds ago. So the more pressure you put on, the more dense it becomes. So this is on the bottom of page 16. You're supposed to add that. Now, I probably should have talked about this when we talked about graphs, but this concept of that when one variable, the x-axis goes up, the y-axis also goes up, that is called a direct relationship. Yeah. The relationship between pressure and density. Oh, draw the relationship. So I must have just hit duplicate. Thanks. Save is on. So what I was just saying is this is a direct relationship. Again, a direct relationship is when one axis goes up, the other axis also goes up. So give, I'm just gonna write that on here as Okay, so what I wanna do is um you already have this i want you to add a little note over here and this here is a direct oops direct relationship and what i just a quick little note when one goes up or so when x goes up so does y versus the one we did for temperature last week when temperature went up density went down if this is a direct relationship what do you think this one's called that is an indirect And again, that's when X goes up, Y goes down. And that leads us to one more type of relationship. Have you guys all gotten to plotting your sunspots and years in lab? I think almost everybody has, obviously, if you've been absent, you have it. But in lab, we have a graph that looks, I think it starts here and it kind of does this. So this was years down here and sunspots here. Is this a direct relationship? When one goes up, the other goes up? 
Is it direct? Is it indirect? Nope. So there's another name for this and most of you that are in lab already have it. What is it? Cyclic. This is cyclic. Sorry, I can't spell. Okay, so that's that up and down pattern. Up and down, repeating pattern. So this is kind of like a little extra bubble of notes right here. But I do want you to have that. All right, guys, how's it feel to officially have learned or gotten through your first chapter of Earth Science? Okay, so it depends on how you want to take it. So yeah, it's either good or bad, depending on how you want to take it. We are um, one ninth of the chapters through, if that helps. Uh, no, nothing. All right. So it looks like a boatload of homework over there. And uh, definitely some people panicked when they came in, um, but it's a work period. So we are doing for the rest of the period, page 17, which by the way, is the next page, even though it's not labeled. Page 18. So there's a total of 12 questions there. I know it looks like 13, but there is no question 11. So there's 12 questions. Here's six more questions on page 19 we're going to do. And then on page 20, that's as far as I expect you to get in class. 17 through 20, it's about 20 questions, which leads a, leaves about 15 questions for homework. So this page 21 and the next page 22. You can choose to tackle this however you wish, but all of these pages need to be done by the time you get to class tomorrow. I did let my last class work together. However, working together really means in my class more like working next to each other and checking with your partner to see if you got the same answer. That's what I mean by working together. I don't mean one person do half, the other person do the other half and you switch. And I also don't mean you have no idea how to do one question. So you just copy the answer from the other person. You can use the other person as a help, but I don't, in the end, I need you to know how to do these questions. As a helpful hint, what's the number one rule of earth science? Read all the words and do what they say. Just like that question last um, Thursday, where if you didn't read the directions, you didn't know they were made out of the same uniform material. Also, guys, as a helpful hint, what do you know automatically? If you hear there go the same uniform materials, I want bells and whistles going off in your head telling you something else. What else do you know if they're the same material? That means they have the same density. So if any of these questions talk about them having the same uniform material, you should be thinking in your head, oh, that means they have the same density. So we're gonna go for the whole rest of the period working on pages 17 through 22. I had a couple people finish, a couple, almost everybody got, everybody who was working got to page and finished page 20. Uh, there was one person goofing off and they didn't get that far. So they have extra homework. Um, if you need an actual calculator there, the, over there above the fire blanket, I am okay with using your phone as a calculator right here in class, but keep in mind when we have a test, which, ooh, on the board, Wednesday, you will not have your phone. So if you don't know how to do math on those little blue calculators or on an actual calculator, you might want to get one of those today as practice. And like I said, the test is scheduled for Wednesday. There is a possibility I push it back to Thursday, but it will be no earlier than Wednesday. Okay, go ahead and get started doing your uh, classwork. 